We got a lot to talk about, uh, Stuart. First and foremost is the ratings downgrade. The last time Ford had a uh, downgrade to this level, they had to hawk the blue oval. Um, so how does it affect your business here in Europe? Yeah, so uh, Matt, obviously we're disappointed with the downgrade from Moody's. Uh, we don't expect it to have any uh, impact on our business in the near term. We have, of course, really strong liquidity over $30 billion. And so we think we're very well positioned to finance our plan to uh, see through our restructuring here in Europe, which is obviously an important uh, part of uh, taking our business forward here. One of the uh, things Bill Ford once said when ratings were back upgraded back to normal, it was one of the happiest days of his life. Will you speed up your cost cutting plan or deepen cost cuts in order to get back to an investment grade credit rating? No, I think we're going to stay right on our plan. We have a clear strategy here in Europe to transform our business. We've also communicated our plans around around South America, and as you know, we're taking action to improve uh, business in China. And, and I think Moody's referred to that in their, in their note that they issued yesterday. So we're going to stay right on our plan and execute to that. What are the biggest uh, headwinds you face to your turnaround here in Europe? I mean, is Brexit the number one uncertainty, the number one issue that, that causes you problems? Well, yeah, Brexit, I mean, clearly that's uh, an uncertainty. We don't know where that's going to end up. I don't think anybody has clarity on that. What we're doing is being very uh, clear with governments, whether it be here in, uh, in the EU or whether it be in the UK, about what is most important to us, and that is really around tariff-free trade. Uh, we think that's what we need for our business. We think that's good uh, for consumers and good for the economy. So um, we hope that's where we'll come out. We hope there will be a deal. Uh, but whatever eventuality, we will manage our business through this. What does the economy look like from your seat? You've come from Detroit to Cologne. The German economy is showing a lot of difficult data points. How does it look from your point of view? Well, in terms of the German auto industry, it's actually holding up uh, pretty well. Of course, to us, uh, Ford in Europe, the commercial vehicle business is extremely important. We're the number one commercial vehicle brand in Europe. And year to date, uh, the commercial vehicle industry is actually up year on year. So we're quite uh, happy with uh, where the industry is. The passenger vehicles a bit weaker. But generally, the economy, although slightly softer, is, is not our prime concern. Will a rate cut from the ECB help Mario Draghi? Looks like he's primed to cut rates on Thursday here in Frankfurt as well. Is that going to boost your passenger or commercial business? Yeah, well, clearly uh, lower rates are good for consumers and they, they help consumers get into one of our vehicles. So we're uh, obviously very uh, supportive of that and we would welcome that. Um, as far as helping consumers, I notice when I look around the stand, everything here is a hybrid. So you've got your fleet pretty much fully electrified. Um, are you confident that that's the way forward? Yeah, so Matt, the theme of, uh, of our stand here in Frankfurt today is all about electrification. So we're communicating that going forward, every new passenger vehicle that we introduce will have an electrified option, whether it be a mild hybrid, a full hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, and later this year we will uh, reveal our all new fully electric Mustang-inspired performance SUV. So we're really excited about that. I mean, at Ford, we want to bring a electrified solution for every customer. Obviously, some people will choose a battery electric vehicle, but that's a relatively you know, high-priced uh, solution. We want to provide uh, solutions at the entry level in our Fiesta, our Focus, and of course, this fantastic new Ford Puma that we're showing today. And I'm also looking forward to the mild hybrid Explorer that you're bringing to Europe for the first time with a rear-wheel drive platform. Let me just quickly ask you about the infrastructure. I mean, getting batteries, for one, I wonder um, how much of a difficult task that is, and then allowing consumers to charge, building up the infrastructure in Europe, how important is that? Yeah, it's going to be super important. And obviously, you know, helping uh, consumers to make this transition to this electrified future is going to be important for us. It's also uh, important for, for governments and, and, and for cities. So, of course, as you know, we're a uh, shareholder in Ionity, providing fast charging solutions. We're also providing access uh, to home charging solutions and to public charging networks. So uh, putting that in place is going to be very important, but you know, we see uh, the, the, um, the governments, the regulators uh, being supportive of that, as are we.